Um, normally at this point, in a, in a kind of fast talk like this, I might try and uh, make all your phones ring, send you text messages, that kind of thing. But I actually want to pick up on the fourth thing that you might see on the, uh, on the site there, which is actually authentication. And I feel like this might fit in quite nicely with the fact that we started today with a security talk. Uh, because we actually uh, own a, a little company called Authy, uh, who are part of Twilio now, and do two-factor authentication as a service. Um, they say two-factor authentication in one story point. I'm going to try and get that down into five minutes, and I hope you'll come and join me. Um, so, I'd like to introduce you to my application. It's called Super Secret Puppies. And uh, you have to, uh, it's, it's currently built up in Rails uh, 4, I'm afraid, I haven't had time to upgrade it, uh, using Devise in order to uh, authenticate. And when you are authenticated, you can look at pictures of puppies. This is my puppy, she's called Ruby. I didn't name her, which is the best thing. <laughs> Um, but, you know, if you are signed out, uh, you can't go and see those puppies that ask you to sign in. Fantastic. Okay. Let's really make those puppies super secret by uh, securing that with two-factor authentication. Let's stop that right there, and I'm going to drop into the code and add uh, a gem, because that's the way we do things in the Rails community. Um, this is the device authy gem. Uh, it's right down there at the bottom. Um, oops. Uh, it's a plugin for device that does this, which is going to make my life a lot easier. Um, and if we bundle that right now, I installed these earlier, don't worry. Um, we get that. Okay, cool. And all I need to do uh, is create myself an initializer, uh, which I'm going to do right now. And um, let's go fill that in with some uh, initialization code. This is kind of easy, really. Um, in fact, this is all the code I'm actually going to have to write, which is amazing. Um, so we're just going to get it out the uh, environment, which is where I put it earlier, so that you couldn't see my key. Uh, but if you did want to uh, take a look at that, there is the uh, Authy dashboard right there, which is where you get your key, where you see all your users and how secure they are. Uh, so that's that. Uh, now we just need to do some generation. Um, so uh, if we just uh, Rails generate uh, the device Authy install, which is going to uh, set up some, uh, some initializers and other stuff. Uh, and then um, we're also going to generate that into our user model. Uh, there we go. And I'm also going to migrate the database. I had to tell you it was Rails 4, otherwise somebody would have said, you can use Rails DB migrate now. Uh, which is cool, I think. Um, so we've done that. Uh, so let's start the application up again. And uh, let's go and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to go sign in. Uh, and right now, I haven't actually set up my uh, uh, authentication for my user yet, so I'm going to uh, go and do that uh, by going to enable Authy. And this is where uh, Authy starts to work. Um, you need to do three API calls when you're building this yourself to make uh, two-factor authentication work with uh, Authy. First, you need to register your user by taking their details, their um, phone number in this case, and uh, don't use that to spam me. Uh, and uh, two-factor authentication has been enabled. And what that has actually done is... Um, send a request to my phone to say, hey, you've got this new app. Um, do you want to uh, get the code? So we're going to get that code. Uh, and so that's the first API request. Uh, we authenticate the user. Uh, sorry, we create the user. Then we get the code, which, as you can see here, is 51956777. And that's the second, uh, or, oh, sorry, when we get the uh, push notification there, that's the second one where we say, hey, request a code from someone. And finally, third, you, uh, uh, it doesn't work. Let's send a text message instead. Maybe that'll work. There we go. Uh, 4245748. Uh, 4245748. I'm pretty good at remembering these things these days. And there we go. We are authenticated, and we can see our puppies and sign out, sign back in. And this time around, it will ask us uh, for our authentication token again. And uh, I'm not going to. Uh, let's see if this works again. 2012668. 12668. And there we are, we're signed in. So we have created two factor authentication in our application in what I think is about five minutes. Uh, if you want to talk to me about anything uh, like uh, two factor authentication or other uh, communications based stuff, please come and find me. I'm around all day and I'll probably be at the bar later. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>